Hello there. Okay. How to actually connect the automatic bed leveling sensor? So you've got on the Sapphire Plus, you've got this sensor that connects. Okay, you've got this sensor right here. This actually will connect. Here, you've got a cable that will go down to the motherboard. Problem is, the cable, <laughs> if you route it with the other cables through this black hose, it will be too short to actually reach the motherboard, which is situated around here, I believe. No, actually here, in this corner, it is straight. Uh, okay, so that's the sensor, and that needs to get connected right here in the motherboard. The you have to connect it in this green connector the one that actually has uh, Z plus on the side I don't know if you can see but there's a Z plus not the uppermost connector as is in this image not this but this one just near the white one this is the Z plus connector this is where you have to actually connect the connector okay uh, the connector will only go one way so there's no problem actually uh, about how you have to plug in the connector okay then you have to go in the menu in the settings menu machine settings machine next go to leveling settings leveling settings and you have to enable auto leveling and you have to make sure here where is the line with probe connector it's actually set to Z max that's the actually connector because in the default configuration uh, the Z Max is used for the uh, BL Touch and for this sa automatic sensor that comes with the printer. And the other option, the Z Mine, Z, Z Minimum, actually is reserved for the this end stop, for the uh, minimum height end stop. Minimum height because uh, when the the carriage is actually at the uppermost part uh, the printing size its height the printing height is at minimum actually so you have to make sure that here it's selected Z max because you actually connected the sensor on that port okay then when you enable that and you go back to the tools menu you will now see uh, auto level instead of leveling and when you okay I have to now <laughs> I forgot to actually connect the sensor <laughs> okay Let's connect the sensor. So how do you connect the sensor? Like this. You see those two freaking... Um, I don't know. You can actually see the connector inside. Not on that side because on this side you don't have those um, window 
connector window like this oh. have to connect this on the same side I believe it actually doesn't matter how you connect them because it's probably a mechanical connector here there are just two contacts and uh, when you apply pressure this will actually make contacts so in that case uh, how you connect here doesn't matter okay then you have to put this on the nozzle over the nozzle the problem here this type of leveling is the fact that you cannot do this type of leveling automatic leveling with the heated if your nose uh, nozzle is uh, preheated because it will probably melt that thing around it so in that regard uh, I think it sucks a BL touch would be better but still you can do a freaking cold auto leveling okay now we start again the printer you can see this is actually staying there over the nozzle we're gonna go to tools auto level and <laughs> we'll start leveling it will first home and then it will start the auto level process and you will actually see we actually have some problems <laughs> there uh, right now with the firmware as it is the point selected for actually doing the auto leveling uh, aren't covering the whole surface the point selected from the firmware to actually do the automatic leveling uh, just come up until here and I don't understand why did it stop okay either maybe the connector didn't make contact um, it's just strange I'll try again okay so it will only uh, home if you never home the printer uh, before you actually trigger uh, auto leveling. Yeah, for some reason it doesn't do that probably because it reaches the the end stop first before it actually triggers this <laughs> yeah so yeah there is another way to actually do this we're gonna actually no, I'll have to untie this, I'll have to redo the manual calibration later, but I'll have to raise the platform a bit, so that it can actually do the auto bed leveling. right now okay 
so it reached the platform. Yep. So now it doesn't stop. So as you can see it doesn't go all over to the corner of the bed. <sighs> Yeah, probably the um, uh, automatic bed leveling limits are actually set in the firmware and you will have to recompile the firmware. I'm running now uh, the official 2.3's uh, version 2 uh, based on Marlin version 2.02 I believe. And probably that will need to be recompiled with new uh, coordinates. I don't know in Marlin if it's uh, the auto bed leveling process is based on uh, fixed predetermined coordinates or like in the example in the case of Duet uh, you just pick uh, a 2 cm or a offset and the system will actually determine by itself if the next point reaches outside of the platform based on the machine size that you set probably in Marlin uh, the points are predetermined yeah so yeah unfortunately uh, I won't be using this automatic bed leveling feature. Uh, I don't know. Or maybe I'll try to recompile the software with the new settings, but uh, I'm more used to Duet <laughs> configuring. And I don't exactly know right now how to recompile the... I, I kind of have an idea how it is to recompile the firmware. The Marlin firmware. This actually has some... It's not a rubber, it's... Polystyrene? Or, or polystyrene? I don't know how it's actually pronounced in uh, English. And I bet this will actually melt. <laughs> yeah. Really easy, especially if I use like 240 degrees because I'm printing PETG and I. Uh, it's better to level the bed at, at the temperature that you're printing. Uh, I have found on this bed that if I push it to 80 degrees it will actually warp a bit in the center uh, if for example the um, corners just rub a bit on the uh, paper the center will actually rub a bit harder on on the paper and strange enough that doesn't happen if uh, the bed is actually uh, cold. <laughs> um, yeah, and interesting enough, when I actually leveled the bed for uh, PLA and I actually did it at 190 degrees with the bed on 60 degrees, I didn't notice it actually warping or curving in the center but uh, to 80 degrees I did notice that it's a small 
warp though and it's it shouldn't be any problem if you print PTG uh, even on the sides even on the whole surface I believe yep okay thanks for watching have a nice day